Hey, hello everyone, I'm Azab, and welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Uh, last time, I believe we took on the, uh, the gym, right? Yes? Um, oh, uh, view badges, this button, okay, yes. We took down the one gym, uh, and then we had to go to Candlelight City, that's all I really remember. <laughs> um, but I did, uh make my way to uh i think this is a jubilife city okay i mean i made my way to jubilife city um because we have to go over here to candlelave and uh nothing really happened of interest except for one thing with uh, a pokemon that i won't reveal until it is uh, more interesting to, <laughs> to reveal it um so i guess we just keep going through this town right there's nothing really here I don't think so, anyway. I feel like I would have made sure I hit the the story point. Um, can I... Oops, no. Okay. Also, I am recording this earlier in the day, which is why both the lightning on my webcam is a bit different, and it actually isn't sunset in this game, so... <laughs> uh, oh... It's the, this is the place where you need to have a Pokemon that knows Surf. Okay. <laughs> um. Let's see. Um. I'm just gonna. I'm probably gonna give Surf to. Can Mem even learn Surf? Hold on. Um. Here is Surf. Okay. And Mem can learn this. Good. Okay. Yes, okay, just give it to Mem. Uh, we can replace Water Gun, probably. Oh, wait, actually, hold on, do I? Yes. Okay, hold on, actually, hold, I, I, want, I remember that we have the, the poach. Yes. Okay, good, I was like, I was, <laughs> I was doing all this, like, old school style, but I'm like, wait, we have a poach. That just lets us do things for free. Uh, oh, and we got our honey. Nice. Okay. Um, okay, so since this is a wild barrel, I can uh, throw him back into the box and swap out dude. Or swap in dude, rather. Nice. I'm, I'm really glad that we did that. <laughs> or figured that out. Because uh, I was going to be rather upset if we didn't get that. Uh, the water is a deep blue color. We're pointing that out because there's going to be poison water and it's going to be dangerous. <laughs> uh, ooh, another rare candy. Excellent. I still haven't used my other one, actually, now that I, real I think about it. Um, Uh-oh. <laughs> Dang it. I, I, I got to walk away and then he attacked me. Okay, thanks, dude. I see how it is. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, here's something that I think was kind of cool. Uh, not this guy. This guy's kind of dumb. Mantike. Ooh, okay. But... Oh, wait, what? Oh, it might have been... Okay, never mind. I, the, it didn't work because... The one time I wanted to work, it didn't work. It basically... Because Edgy Boy was like the... He was like out of his Pokeball on like the overworld. He, we wouldn't have the ball throw animation. He, he would just be out of the Pokeball already. It was kind of cool. I was really hoping it to show it, but it just decided, hey, what if we just inconvenienced him this one time? <laughs> so, yeah, not here we are. <laughs> it's just kind of awkward territory. Um, a Gyarados, okay. I mean, Edgy Boy's pretty solid for this. Oh no, Intimidate. Oh, but I'm... Not going to intimidate you back? Okay, I guess that's not a thing he does. <laughs> oh dang, the Gyarados survived. What? Oh, I used Leer. Okay, it wasted its turn. <laughs> okay, let's just keep spamming Thundershock. I always thought it was kind of weird seeing, like, the kind of like see Pokemon 
like out of the water, you know, like Gyarados just floating in midair. I always thought those looked a little weird, but yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, anyways, Jaflukius is now level 36, and Homie's level 33. This could be good for Jaflukius. Jaflukius might finally evolve into... Is that Emporion? It's something like that. <laughs> uh, we'll be able to see in a second here, because we just beat Sailor Man. Popeye Wannabe. Oh yeah, man! Let's see it! <laughs> Jafloko is it evolving! Or is evolving. I think I accidentally said is it. I don't know. Okay, yeah, this is... I've been waiting a long time for this. Oh yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, your Jafloko has evolved into Empoleon. Okay, yeah, I was right, Empoleon. Uh, I might have been slightly off on that, but... Okay, yeah, now he's Water Steel type. Which makes it a lot better. Wants to learn to move Aqua Jet. Ooh, what is Aqua Jet? Uh, 40, 100, this, uh, this move always goes first. Okay, so it doesn't deal as much damage as Brine, but it's faster. Hmm. You see, I would get rid of the charm, but the charm has saved us more than once, so it's kind of... A little hard. I think I'm gonna go with no. Yeah, I'm gonna go with no. But can he learn Steel Wing now? I uh, can go here. Da, 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 da. Steel Wing. Yes, he can learn it. Okay. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jafuku has put it up with TM. TM can be used only once. Break. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, what does this move do again? <laughs> okay, his power is 70, accuracy 90, okay. This may also raise the user defense stat, okay. Yeah, it's, it's much stronger than Metal Claw. It is less accurate, but... And it's a bit more of a defensive move, but I think this is alright. <laughs> it does it has 20 more power, and that 20 more power, it, it's like how decibel, decibels work. You know, like, 20... Decibel audio versus 30. 30 is like 10 times more powerful. Um, also, I guess that guy just didn't see me. I don't know what happened there. Uh, actually, you know what? I want to... S well, this area might not necessarily be good for Jafluquius, but I want to have him in the lead because he's the new guy. Oh, wow. He's tall. Like, holy crap. Okay, and I'm certain that that patch of grass would probably be like, uh, oh. I'm certain the patch of grass would be for a water type Pokemon, which we don't need. Uh, that's a long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I am Professor Roman's assistant and Dawn's father. I have never met you. But cool. The professor asked that I upgrade your Pokedex, you see. So I'd chosen this spot on a hunch that you'd pass through. And I just stood here for ten days. <laughs> Waiting. Metsa, uh, may I have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see, was I supposed to put it in the... Put in the software here? Ka -chum, ka -chum. Wait, is he loading in, like, <laughs> shotgun bullets or something? Hmm, it looks like your Pokedex, Pokedex doesn't need upgrading. It already lets you toggle between images of male and female Pokemon. I'm, s I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Explain? Technology sure has improved lately. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on with your project for the Professor. I also ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic. The Professor is concerned about what happened in Jubilife City. What happened? Oh wow, that was many episodes ago. Wow, they did much more devastating things since then. You know, like, stealing a person's Pokedex, uh, making a bomb threat, I don't know, it's just, the thing in Jubilee City is not really much of a big deal <laughs> in comparison. Uh, it's probably nothing to worry over, I'll be on my way now. Okay, I need you to explain that weird thing you said about the male and female Pokemon, what the frick are you talking about, man? Um, oh wait, no, it won't be in here. Uh, it would be in my Pokedex. Is it just that, like, if I click on the Turtwig, I can... Wait, it has... Is there any... Am I supposed to be able to see any difference? 
Wait, like a barrel can only be- wait, what? I'm confused, what is happening here? This whole gender thing doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that was all about. It seems very random, kind of pointless, and that guy added literally nothing to the game, so... You know, that's fun, but hey, we're in Candlelave City now. Um, cargo port. Cool. Okay. Um, what are we supposed to do now that we're here? Uh, there's something to explore on this lower part. Uh, do I talk to this lady? I hear that there's a man who's very forgetful here in Candlelave City. He even makes Pokemon forget their moves. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's like, there's a dude that, um... You can, like, use to swap out your po your moves with. That's pretty handy. Uh, uh, okay. Whoops! Oh, hey, man, Dev! You're going to challenge the gym leader up ahead, eh? Someone should check to see if you're ready for this challenge. And that someone is me with my brand new gym badge. Honestly, if... If he ever says, oh, you're going to challenge this gym, fight me first... That means that I'm going to win the gym automatically, you know, because he's a complete joke. <laughs> so, I don't know what he's trying to pull here, but... Also, what is this camera angle? Also, I love the void here. Oh, it's, re <laughs> this is remembering the first time you met me. That's that's very sweet, Jaflukius, but we need to focus on the battle. Who's steel wing? Uh, what, what just happened? Act what in the world just happened? Is it like used? Oh, it had a, I think it has an item that allows it to move faster or something. I don't know. But again, what is with this camera angle? It's very weird and just it's like it's up. It's like up too much. You know, like uh, it's like up looking up at the the blank water blue sky of the head. <laughs> up above. Okay, it's been leveled up. Let's see, send out Heracross. Uh, I will switch out my Pokemon. I'm trying to think of what type Heracross is. I think he's Bug. Right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's Bug. Um, might be Bug Fighting or something weird like that. But I know that Fire is effective against Bugs, so I'm gonna swap in uh, Zoomer. Plus Zoomer hasn't seen a ton of action. So you know, let's give let's give some love to our horse. Okay. Uh, flame wheel. Super go, pew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was super effective. Brick break. Ow. Okay, I get to go first, so I'm just gonna kill your. Oh wait, he withdrew his Pokemon. <gasps> Dweeb's getting smarter. Oh no. <laughs> He's actually swapping out his Pokemon. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, well, if you're gonna do that, I'm gonna swap in Edgy Boy. You're not the only one who can swap Pokemon, Dweeb. <laughs> and then watch him swap out his Pokemon, and we just have a swapping battle. <laughs> okay. Um, let's use Spark just to try to take out the Weasel real quick. Yeah, okay, and Dweeb is dumb trying to use Tail Whip against a Pokemon that is very effective against it. Spark! One shot the Weasel. Excellent. Get some EXP there. Um, Heracross again. Uh, oh, what? Whoops! I my brain flipped the options. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, I guess uh, Edgy Boy can work on the Heracross. So just bite it, bite off its big uh, stag beetle horn or whatever. Brick Break. Okay. Ow! That did a lot of damage. Ow! Why does Brick Break do so much? Um, Spark. That's my more powerful move. Yeah. Okay. Kill him. Kill him. And Edgy Boy's level 38. Nice. Yeah, despite all of Dweeb's best efforts, he's still just not very good. <laughs> um, 
I mean, he's gonna switch on the Ponyta. Drifluke is... I, I know Drifluke is low on HP, but he should be fine. He doesn't have the speed advantage, though. I wonder... Wait, this camera is acting weird just when Drifluke is out. Is it because he's, like, huge or something dumb like that? Okay, hopefully he surprised the flame wheel. Yeah, I kind of figured he would. Brian, Just one-shot the Ponyta! And, ooh, Zoomer leveled up. I wonder when Zoomer's gonna evolve to a Rapidash. He should be doing that soon. Ooh, and Grottle, okay, um... Let's see, hold on, is Grass effective against Ground? Uh... Sorry, hold on, I'm just... Okay, it is. So I'm not. I, I was. I was debating on switching in dude or not, but I'm not going to now. Um. Let's swap in homie. I would switch in Zoomer, but Zoomer's low on health, and so I just kind of want to. Um, on Zoomer to be able to be healed. Although grass might be also effective against. But, um, I don't. I. I I saw that Dweeb said something, but I don't care. Dweeb's an idiot. Um, <laughs> okay, Super Potient, Zoomer. Is Grass effective against f flying? No. Oh, is it? What's this move? The Seeded. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> oh no, my health is being sapped. Uh, Air Cutter. I think, okay, yeah, gra uh, flying is actually effective against grass, so homie is also a good option. Stealth Rock, oh no! He threw pebbles in my path! If he threw down Legos in my path, then I'd be in real trouble here. Did he? Did he didn't even, like, oh wait, no, now he's healing. <laughs> like, he healed, like, 5% of his HP. We're not done yet, neither me or my Pokemon something. I can't finish this reading it because it literally doesn't give me enough time to. Uh, Leech Life. Oh, and Bug works against grass? Okay. Interesting. As we kill the Growl, and uh, Homie heals. And so uh, basically nothing happened. Nice, okay. We continues to fail. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? I think he said that before. Man, we've got, we've got so many rival battles, and he just keeps getting destroyed every time, because he has just the same team every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're just a bit better than me, as usual, but listen up. Let me tell you who's going to take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. You guessed right, it's going to be you, I mean me. It's going to be me, okay? <laughs> Anyways, you should be able to take on the gym leader here. Now hurry up and get to it. Yes, I'm going to do that once I... Whoops, why did it go over to the Pokedex? <laughs> uh, once I go to the Pokemon Center, because Dweeb continues to not heal my Pokemon after our duels. Dweeb is just so rude. Okay, but real talk here, Dweeb is like the worst written character in this game. He's very obnoxious. He just comes at a random moments, forces you to fight him, and then loses, and then he's like, oh, maybe you should continue on your way. I'm here to just annoy you and be in the way. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Um... Oh... Pfft. I gotta take on the gym leader here, yeah, okay. Uh, so, th the thing is, I would- I want to take on the gym leader, but uh, the, uh, the, if I do, then this episode would be super long, but, um, if I stop now, it'll be a, ra a rather short episode, but I think you guys will enjoy that, right? Hopefully. Anyways, we'll be taking on the Candlelight gym leader in the next episode. Um, sorry, yeah, again, this is a bit of a shorter episode. Um, but, hey, you know, sometimes that happens. Um, plus, maybe you guys will like it because you don't have to watch or see me as much this time around. <laughs> but, 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you want to check out more of what I do, go follow me over on Twitch, as well as the YouTube Archive channel for that Twitch channel. And if you want to keep up the daily on things about gaming, go follow me over on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description down below for all that stuff. And I will see you all in the next episode.